Today is uh, 31st of Jan 2023. I'm going to start the first 30 days challenge. All right. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, what happened 30 days after, which is the end of the, um, February. All right. In 2023, what happened to this um, $2,000 account? I started off with this $2,000 account. Actually, I've put in exactly $2,000, but um, I happened to make uh, some money from a testing uh, and I end up with just slightly above 2000 Okay, so the first trade that I'm going to put in is the Aussie Yen because we received the alerts from Aussie Yen just now. Um, you know, the sell alert at about eight hours ago. So I, I came back from the meeting. I just, I just put in that Aussie Yen trade. Um, so that's the first trade that I've put in already. The next trade that I like to put in, even though it's still day one, uh, but uh, I think that there's a lot more potential, is a trade on pound yen. I'm just going to still set the same thing, which is $80 raise, and then, um, you know, enable the trigger for the trade. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the trade is being put in already, right? We have uh, currently um, a trade that's uh, on pound yen. Today is day two. I'm going. I'm going to put in the third trade. We have uh, just received an alert on Aussie. This is the one hour alert. So we are trading the four hour alert. Mm, but that give us pretty much clue that the market might be looking into Aussie. So I'm just going to put in a trade in Pound Aussie. This is Pound Aussie because it's not a four hour close yet. Let me just put in the greed EA. Then define some of the properties to allow it to trade, change the magic number, then define how much I want and then define the direction. If I don't want, I can change this as a buy and sell direction, make this into an auto trade because it will automatically place the trade and then just click OK. Here I am ready and to wait for a signal to happen probably in the next one hour. Let's see how this trade goes through. Receive an alert on uh, Gold versus Aussie sell just now at 14 minutes ago. I'm just going to put in the trade. So this would be um, day two, trade number two. Here we go. Everything has been set properly with the same risk of $80. Don't even need to calculate the lot size. Just click OK. And then the EA will just, um, you know, put in the lot. Uh, the trade for you. So this will be the second day and the second trade. The reason for this is because um, this is a lower high and then there's a bit of a reversal going on already and that's how, that's why I decided to put in the trade. Today is uh, day three. I'm just gonna put in the uh, fifth trade. I still have another four more trades running and the trade is pound versus the dollar. Right, and I'm uh, just going to switch that into an auto mode to let it trigger. Although the trigger was at the close of this bike, we just done it, but I just decided to um, wait a little bit. And then same thing, a risk of $80, and to set it is auto trade. Change the uh, magic number to what it needs to be changed. Two, three, two, and that's it. All right, so right now the trade is open. It's a little bit late because I'm late by about 10, 10, 11 pips. I could have just gotten immediately about 10 to 11 pips from this trade, but it's okay. Uh, so see how easy it is to enter the trade. Um, it's day three and I'm going to put in the sixth trade. Today is on the 2nd of February. Um, ECB just uh, announced its rate and it finished the ECB conference. And um, I'm just going to put in a shot in uh, Euro Kiwi that uh, was a signal that just happened. Okay, so um, I've checked the dashboard. So we have the Euro Kiwi sell about 23 minutes ago. In fact, we had Euro Kiwi sell, Euro Cat sell, and uh, Euro Yen sell. Um, for, so for risk management, I just want to put in Euro Kiwi. And because it had really moved a little bit further, so I'll just put in the limit order 
all right um so the limit order um that i want to put in all right is actually ideally here at 1.6845 but i think that it's a little bit too far so i just want to get this trade all right i'll probably just do at 1.6830 okay so i just key in this limit order 1.6830 all right and i have defined um the risk uh same thing same same uh risk uh, which is 80 dollars so just do a sell limit okay all right so the sell limit is already in with the stop loss and the target profit all um all, all put in already all right and i have the current trade which is running uh, well with uh, some of the extra limit order put in by the EA. Hello, it's Bini here. Uh, today is the second week of the Alum Breed uh, Challenge and uh, I'd like to use this video to review into what happened last week. Alright, uh, let's take a look into my current position. In fact, there's nothing because I closed all the trades on Friday because Friday was non-fun payroll, a high-impact uh, news. I decided not to hold any trades uh, over the weekend. So therefore, closed all and end up with a profit of $149.58. Um, I started off with 2000 at the start of the week and then traded um, not many trades but was happy to make about 7.5% off this $2,000. Alright, so let's take a look into the trade specific. So I started off with um, an index trade that made me some money and then um, some not, not a big size. Each of the trade has a risk of $80. So some on Aussie Yen, um, the other one on... Uh, Pound Aussie and dollar uh, uh gold versus Aussie and then pound dollar. All right, you can see that um the greed added some trades huh? specifically on the additional sell in pound Aussie and then um additional sell in pound um dollar and pound yen. Um, if I didn't close the trade before North Fund payroll, I would have actually made a lot of money uh, with the greed. So for example, if you take a look into Aussie uh, pound versus dollar, so dollar had quite a substantial move on Friday. In fact, the greed added some position over here and added quite a fair bit of positions over here, right? And then the main basket uh, trade was around here. So that's the main trade. And if this is to... Uh, move down and uh, to close off today, that would be quite a substantial profit. All right, so all in all, I'm quite happy with the performance uh, because, you know, um, no no loss is actually a gain. All right, so we're going to see what happened to this week.